let's install Nostar on Lunar Node and then point a domain to it and uh, get an SSL certificate as well. We're going to be uh, setting up our virtual machine in France because that's closer to me. I'll go for a general purpose machine and I'm going to go for Ubuntu 20.04, create virtual machine, oh, call it something. We click on manage machine and you can see it's building. Uh, I'll need the git URL, so I'll copy that. Let's refresh, cool. Uh, let's open up terminal. So we're going to um, sudo ssh and it's Ubuntu at this IP address. Yes, I'll accept the fingerprint. Oh, permission denied. Hmm. Let's try again. Well, I probably need to go delete from my known host. What is it, 84? Oh yeah, look at that. I've already got it in my known host, so I'll delete that. because um, this is when I run through uh, this tutorial I've already accepted a fingerprint and now it's, it's different so my Linux is uh, keeping me safe yes please right now it wants me to put in the password which is that no and I'm in uh, first thing I'm going to do is sudo apt update and we'll probably see that uh, oh yeah we are updating that's nice I was kind of expecting it to be locked. Um, and then we're going to git clone. Where was the password? Wasn't I pasted? So I need to paste that again. Copy that. Um, I'll need to log in uh, to my GitHub because it's still private. You won't have to do this. Okay, now I'm in. Um, well, I've cloned it even so if I ls I can see it there cd nostar so we've managed to clone the repo uh, what do we need to do next now we need to actually install uh, Quasar which is the framework which uh, the nostar Twitter client uses so I'm going to copy this I'm going to paste that there oh need to install npm first this will take a moment it might not let me do it because often when you set up these virtual machines they, yeah, um, apt is locked in some process. So I'll cancel that, go get a cup of tea. In like five minutes, this will just take care of itself. We'll be able to run sudo apt install uh, npm. Just, char just uh, tried it after a few minutes and it seems to have worked. So yes, I want to install it. Again, this will take a little moment. So we've installed npm. Now we're going to install Quasar. Hmm, I think I need to sudo that. Let me sudo it just in case it doesn't fail. Yep. God's sake. <laughs> Must be cursor. Brilliant. Now uh, npm install. I'll install our dependencies. And then we've got a couple of options when it comes to running Quasar. We can run it in development mode, uh, which we'll do first. We can also run it as a persistent web app and uh, we can actually then build Quasar. So when we do Quasar dev or um, this, you know, dev uh, pwa the quasar client includes its own web server to service files and uh, it's kind of running um you know 
hot 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 code as with hot code reloading and all that sort of stuff. Whereas if we if we actually build it, we create a whole bunch of static files which minimize the amount of code uh, so we can deliver it in production mode. So so it should be faster. We've got some errors here. Oh dear. No, no, I think it's going through okay. So it's very messy when they install uh, these uh, npm things. Right, so if I go quasar dev in this nostar folder, hopefully, so it's booting up the web client and then it's loading all the different view modules and uh, JavaScript modules. Um, so we can actually build the website on the fly. Oh, there we are, and we're live. Uh, if this was running on our machine, we could access it at localhost 8080, but we can't because it's not running on our machine. So what we're going to do is we're going to go get our external IP address, copy it, and then paste them in there. Oh, curl on 8080. And we should, there we are, we've got our Nostar install here. Um, but obviously, you know, an IP address isn't ideal when you want to share your installation. And also, we're not running on a, a secure HTTPS. So uh, let's sort that out now, shall we? First, we're going to go to um, your domain registrar. And you need to set an A record to the, um, the IP address of your machine. Uh, so if I just copy that. And set the IP address. Okay, I was lucky to, to bag nostar.com. Um, <laughs> it's just opportunist. Uh, so, yeah, sorry for that. Anyone who wanted to get it. Um, then we're going to install uh, Caddy, which we can use to do like a reverse proxy from our URL to our uh, install at localhost. Um, so, if I close that. Oh, CD out, and then control paste the keys in for caddy. Uh, this one, um, and caddy is really becoming a go-to for very quickly being able to spin up a server or reverse proxy uh, and all that stuff. And it will also uh, issue us automatically with a an SSL certificate, which is really neat. Makes life a gazillion times easier. And it's very lean as well. You can see how quickly that installed. Right, so if we CD into Nostar now, I need to sudo caddy stop, I think, just to make sure it's not running. Yep. And then we're going to make a caddy file. Uh, so sudo nano. Nano is going to be our text editor in terminal. And then caddy with capital C file. And we're going to say that any traffic coming from Nostar.com we want uh, a reverse proxy to our local host at port 8080. Save that. Um, and now if we do sudo caddy start, bit of luck. There you are, looks good. It's like it's issued our certificate. Um, I think we can actually risk going to it. Let's have a look. No, it didn't work. Oh, duh, of course, because we're not actually running <laughs> uh, Quasar dev. We need to run Quasar, don't we? To actually serve our site. So the web server in Quasar is then serving you know, our site in development mode. So uh, what was happening was we were going through this URL it was doing a reverse proxy to uh, localhost port 8080, but then there was just nothing there for it to see. So, right, so now we're running our Quasar. If we press enter, here we go. And we're running. Look at that. And look at that. We've got HTTPS SSL certificate, the easiest SSL certificate uh, to get in, in the world using in Caddy. It's great. Um, so that is it running in developer mode. Um, but I want to show you it running in PWA mode because that's pretty sweet. So if we go to Quasar Dev M uh, PWA, so PWA is a persistent web app, which means that you can install it. Now you can actually see that here. I've got a, got it installed on my desktop. You can install it 
on your uh, desktop or you can install it on um, on your phone and you get like a little icon and it just acts like an app then. Um, uh, persistent web apps are a really nice way of kind of just getting around uh, having to list um, software on you know the, the play stores um, and it's nice and secure too so there we are so we're running there so hopefully if we refresh yeah we are you see let's get this, we'll get this little plus icon here so proceed proceed um, we can install this uh, yes I'll install it please and then you know click on install it install it as a web app now, on your phone it will just install it as, a, as an actual app it's pretty cool uh, as you can see you know it just runs as Nostar runs let's generate a seed get our private keys and we're ready to start ship hosting off, off we go into the Nostar network um, but as I said this is running uh, in a development mode so we want it to run in production we just change a few things so instead of quasar dev we're going to do quasar build and we're going to build it in you can just build it um as a normal you know website but we're going to build it as a persistent one um this will take a moment now in caddy we're going to be serving static files so we need a static file server um I think I remember how to do that. Maybe I should just quickly go check. What have we got here? Ooh. Static files, here we go. Uh, file server, yeah, there we are. Cool. Um, so it's made a bunch of static files for us to serve. So if we do an ls here, so we've got this dist folder. Uh, so cd dist um, what do we need to do okay, ls cd pwa and ls oh oops daisy oh goodness me what's wrong with me and there you can see we've got a, an index.html um, and then some css folders the sort of thing you would expect from like a static uh, website so we're going to sudo caddy stop so we stop caddy and um, then oh, we're going to sudo caddy file so we're going to make a caddy file in this new pwa folder sudo nano caddy file um, and we're going to do the same thing we're going to say nostar.com but instead of doing a reverse proxy we're going to do a file server and that's all we need to do and now, if we run caddy from here, so sudo caddy start. Yeah, I think that's worked. I think. I don't need to do any, you know, quasar run, quasar dev, whatever things. It should just be serving those static files. So now, if I go here and refresh, cross my fingers, yep. Yeah. It seems to have worked. I tell you what I'll do. I'll clear the cache because there is some pre-caching going on, just to make sure. Uh, clear site data, and this will also prompt me to set up a new account because obviously clears all the. There we are. So now we're serving those static files. It's nice and lean, um, and we can you know do all our Nostar stuff on here. We have our. Um, the main name and we've got a secure SSL certificate as well which has been automatically given to us by Caddy um, and that didn't take long at all did it so yeah have fun uh, install this client on a VPS um, and uh, yeah just um, you know get a URL point it at it you could use a domain provider like a H names or something which accept Bitcoin over, over lightning network and you could buy like a throwaway domain not register it to yourself and then spin up a client, you know, anonymously if you wanted to. Um, you could, if you go to settings here, we have uh, the relays we're using. We could remove these relays and then we could install, um, we could add our own relay and then you could have a, a client maybe just running just for your family or, or for an event. It'd be pretty cool. Um, so, yeah, an event would be nice actually if you had like a conference and everyone could like, there'd be a public forum here and then you could also direct message people and that could be quite good fun. Anyway, have fun with it and uh, yeah, thanks for watching.